Okay, in this segment I want to show you the reference data memory and this is a very powerful tool. Basically what it's talking about or what it does for us is that if the power is off of the machine and you've already set up your zero zero point and you accidentally move a hand wheel well it's unable, the display is unable to read a scale when the power is off so how do we establish our zero zero point? Well, we use the reference datum function. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. On our workpiece here, let's go ahead and zero out our axes. And let's call this right here approximately our zero, zero point. So go ahead and that's our workpiece, if you will, our zero, zero point. So let's go ahead and move the table over to the left approximately one inch just approximately for our sake overshot a little oh the, pretty good okay so we're exactly one inch so this is one inch to the side so we know that our zero point is over here and then one inch to the side is obviously to the right. So let's just say that we're done for the night. Let's go ahead and shut down the machine. Well, now the next morning, say we haven't got our cup of coffee quite yet. Let's go ahead and move the hand wheel and let's move it approximately one inch to the right. That's close enough. Now we've moved the machine without the power being on and ordinarily there's no way in the world that we're going to get our zero zero point back. Let's go ahead and turn the display back on and see what's happened because of our moving the, the machine. Okay, now as the power comes on, remember the power was off when we moved the machine, so it still thinks that we're at 1.0. Well, we can't be at 1.0 because we can see that the mark is clear over here, approximately one inch to the left. So at this point, we have lost our zero, zero point, and that's not a good thing, of course. It's almost impossible to get your reference uh, or your absolute zero, zero point back. So let's go ahead and take a look at the reference datum key. Go ahead and give that a push and we want to recall our zero point and that's exactly what we've lost so let's go ahead and enter that we push by pushing the enter key it prompts us to select the axis now of course it's the x-axis let's go ahead and push that and you can see x reference flashing and what we want to do is we want to move the scale or actually move the reader head so that it passes over the midpoint of the scale and that, every time that we calculate, or every time that we enter, rather, an absolute zero, zero point, the display puts in memory the distance, if you will, or the difference between what we determine the zero, zero point is and the absolute zero, zero point, or the midpoint of the scale. It does it automatically. We don't have to enter that value at all. So let's re try and regain that. All we need to do is move the, again, move the reader head over the center of the scale. So I know from trial and error that the midpoint of the scale is just to the left here. Let's go ahead, slow down. Let's go ahead and see if that regains that zero, zero point. We'll go ahead and we'll bring it back to the right. And indeed, now we see the display has stopped flashing. Let's go ahead and bring it to approximately zero, zero. And let's slow down a little bit. There we go. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, exactly zero, zero. So now by moving that reader head or dragging it over the center of the scale, uh, we have used the reference data memory to reestablish our zero, zero point. And without that on, without that capability of the display, uh, really there's just absolutely no way that we're going to regain a zero, zero point of the workpiece to four decimals. So 
a reference data memory. Now I've showed you how to use it, and now you know how to use it too.